Hey you guys, it is me, Laura, and I'm hopping on here to do a requested video about the math curriculum that Samuel and I use, and I think I did a video on Miquam before, we use that some as well, but right now for our primary math curriculum, we are using Math Lessons for a Living Education by Angela O'Dell, and this has been working really great for us. Um, it is a math program based on the Charlotte Mason method, which if you're not familiar with the Charlotte Mason method, um, the idea is just that you use living books to teach children. And living books are books that are not just dry and boring and just filled with facts, but they're books that are interesting with stories that are alive. And so Angela O'Dell took that principle and put it into a math book. The math book follows two um, twin, twin siblings, Charlie and Charlotte, as they visit their... Um, grandparents farm over the summer for a few months and it's all about their adventures and journeys and I'm not sure if the this is level one I'm not sure if the levels after continue on that same story or if they're all based on different stories or how that works I'm not really sure just like with most math books you have your scope and sequence here in the beginning your information about the course and what to expect and how to use it and manipulatives this comes with a chart so that if you need to keep in step with um, what the school system is doing or whatever, it, it tells you when you need to be doing your lessons, helps you schedule that out if you need that. And then it starts with the first story. So this is pretty much the layout for all of the, um, the lessons. You will have a story that you read for your lesson and then you have your exercises and they're broken down for you by day. Now, because this is, see, you can see there's day one, you do this page, day two, day three. Oh, this is still day two, day three, day four. And see here, day four, you've got a little bit more story that goes with it as well. And day five goes right here. A lot of times you're writing letters to your mom and dad explaining to them what happens on the farm. And the cool thing is is that these stories have a lot of interactive elements. For example, let's see if I can find the one where you are helping grandma get the eggs for her orders, her egg orders. I'm not finding it right now, but basically you match the number of eggs and egg cartons to the correct number. And anyway, it's very interactive. The activities tend to really be a part of the story. Now, because this is Charlotte Mason, there's also a lot of copy work, which um, we do not do all of the copy work for math just because we do handwriting with other stuff too. A lot of times we'll talk about, talk about the things and um, for Samuel, I do not do the top copy work. Now for some kids it might be great, but for him, he is really, we did a lot of this a while back and he's just now getting to the place where he feels comfortable enough writing and his fine motor skills are picking up. So we're starting to do more of it, but there is a lot of copy work and then there's a lot of things, a lot of times um, at this stage when we were in the book, we were just talking about the answers and he wasn't writing them. But um, anyway, this is just all about numbers and got, and you have number practice and then you see, oh, how many baby pigs were born and you read about the story. And so that's just kind of how it goes. And otherwise, I mean, it, oh, here's the egg thing. So you were helping to fill the egg orders. So the Charlsons had eight half, um, half cartons. So anyway, you just match with, with a number so that you can help fill those on the farm and you're doing counting and you're helping to find um, shapes that they need to make different things on the farm. And so that's pretty much it. So the, um, I, I, I think this is a pretty good program as far as if you're someone who's like super academic, you may or may not like this. Um, because it's a very different approach than a lot of other other places have. It's not as rigorous, which I like. It kind of takes the child's pace a little bit more. Um, but it's a really good program and it's worked really well for us. So we do this and then we also do a little bit of Miquan with it. And for us, it seems to be fitting everything really well. You can see the progression here and making things with shapes. 
and just all sorts of fun stuff. There's patterns and everything. So this is level one, I believe. I don't remember if this is supposed to be first grade or if it's supposed to, I know it's not supposed to be kindergarten. We're using it for kindergarten and I feel like it's fine for that, but it's been a really good program. I don't know if you guys have any more questions for me. If so, please leave them below and I'm happy to answer them. But all in all, I'd say this is a great math program. If you have a child who really likes um, stories, this is really good because there have been times when Samuel's been like, Eh, I'm not so sure and I'll be like oh but if you finish this we get to read more of the story and that's really really exciting for him he loves the story element he loves that it's a plot throughout and he really likes math but he has not even manipulatives like he's not been as interested in stuff he is my story child he would have me just read to him all the time if I could and so um, for him this math has been really really good and it's even to the point where he kind of loses himself in the story and this curriculum has actually opened up a lot of doors for him as far as his handwriting and fine motor skills and things that he struggles with in other areas. It's been really, really good. Um, good for him. So our plan is just to keep going through this and we'll probably continue to use this curriculum as our main curriculum as long as it works really well. Um, and I think it will probably do that for a while, <laughs> um, as long as he's still really enjoying stories. So that is my review of Math Lessons for a Living Education. Like I said, if you have any questions, please let me know. I know with a lot of these programs, it's just a matter of really finding something that clicks well and works well with your child. And for um, Samuel, this is great. I don't know if it'll work as well for Timothy, but for Samuel, this is a really great program. So that is it, and I hope that you guys are having a great day, and if there's anything else that you are interested in interviews on, let me know, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!